What's up, everybody? Welcome to Thursday night. It's Matchstick Melee time. We're here playing some Grand Blue Fantasy Versus on PC, as is the tradition. Uh, we got a couple new faces here tonight. Uh, Merp and uh, Telastra, who are going at it game one. Uh, we're going to try to get all of Winner's Side on, on uh, record tonight, as well as top four. Uh, maybe top eight if we're lucky, but we're going to... We're going to make it nice and quick and efficient. I'm going to pin... That's... Okay, the code is... Yep. Pop, 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 pop. Pop, 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 pop. Got it. And pinning it. Okay, well, I am spectating, and they're ready to go, so yeah, let's kick it. Zoe. Oh, Zoe. Belia. And Belio, of course. Believe in victory. Battle one. And here we go. Oh, yeah, look at the Gundam Wing colors. Oh, wow, the game sound got really loud. There we go, okay. All right, good forward throw there. Nice corner of the pressure, gets the command grab. So the big mean projectile, another forward throw. These are, these are all classic Belial, Belial maneuvers. Shining golden boy. Oh, it's still way too loud. Holy crap. Alright, that should be better. <laughs> oh, nice. Alright, nailed with the counter. Merp definitely having some trouble here. To last for playing oppression, and of course, that's how good Belials do. Whoop. Alright, signs of life. Like what I'm seeing. Oh my goodness. Nice confirm. Blaster with game one. The odds are stacked over. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. Ooh. Yeah, Merp just having trouble getting things going right now. Although, he scores the first knockdown in the match. Getting the good combos out. Oh, nice catch low. Now Talastra's kind of being, uh... And being forced to, to play turtle in the corner. Oh, nice! After kind of a rough start, Merp firing back with a with a near perfect. Not bad at all. Battle two. Engage. Okay, so we have a little bit more of a neutral start this time. No cross up there. Thank you, block button. Oh, no whiff punish. And yeah, Merp starting to get some get some good pokes in. Oh, that one gets DP'd though. Unfortunate catch. That's the wake up. Oh, nice command grab. Gets another start. Oh, the pogo no go. And another super confirm round finish. All right, this is match point for Talastra. Ooh, nice start for things from Merp using the EX. Oh, overhead. Tech the throw, very nice. Bit late, but still good. Ah, there it is. Oh. Talastra had the opening, lost the opening, and then found the opening again after checking his pockets. <laughs> now we're just DPing all over the place. There we go. There's some nice... There's some nice hard to blocks. Oh, 
Murp trying to take this one. Goes air to air. Does not break the throw that time. Ooh, trying to hit back. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, man. Nice. Murp just hanging out in the air, firing downwards. Beats out what probably would have been the end of the round. Oh, no punish on that with DP. That's got to feel... Oh, man. All right. Merp scoring the first significant damage of the round, but... Blastra, another throw. Oh, we got corner stuff, but... Drop the combo. Another solid DP. Nothing coming through on the pogo. Standing light to start another string. And yep. Yeah. Full animation. To last her going to match point. Oh. Hey, speaking of DPs. Ah, uh, I like Merp's uh Merp trying to bait out either a, a non-blocking stance or uh, just find a hole. Got taken by, for a little bit by the counter there. Now finds uh, finds themselves against the wall. Another good guard break. Oh! Look who found a hole in the offense. Side swap. Chasing Talastra back towards the corner now. Oh! Once again, finding a good hole. Eats the pogo and the cross-up. I think... Oh, I was going to say Merp has one more chance here, but that, that was big. And that's going to be Talastra taking that first match of the night. Two to one. Oh, Belial. You crazy kid. Still solid performance from both of these guys. Ada. All right, let's work our way from the bottom up next uh, round. So up next, we're going to have Kaina and Spiral. So yeah, good stuff, good stuff there. Hey, look everyone, Spyro Hero Z is not just talking tonight, but also playing. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get around to the talking soon enough. Oh, Reminiscent showed up, hooray! Okay, all right. Woo! Nice. I'm kind of surprised Spiral isn't gonna like narrate his match. All I can all I can say is ver I'm very disappointed. <laughs> his lack of versatility. <laughs> all right, so Kaina is on his way. Not a, still not available to, to voice chat yet. Not available. <laughs> you are a, you are a man you are you are you are you are a man of impenetrable lore sir much like a dark souls playthrough all right well we're ready for it in any case uh, let's see. Merp with that Zoe. Was doing some good work, actually. I gotta say, like, I haven't seen a whole lot of Zoe. I, I guess she's kind of fallen out of favor. But, um... Uh, sorry for hitting the mic. But, uh, yeah, that was, that was solid play. Especially against a top-tier character like Bel uh, Belial. Oh, that's wrong. 
Telestra, Child of Dragons. Spiral, you're not going to go 0 and 2. You know, like 2 and 2, I bet. <laughs> Yay! All right, you kids, have fun. So, uh, we got, um... Yeah, Beelzebub. Versus... versus... Gran. Gran! Oh! Kilo's gonna be mad. All right, let's see it, though. Let those intros rock. <laughs> let's go! Okay. Spiral having a bit of an issue getting started here. Oh, nope, there we go. There, There's the grand stuff. There's the grand stuff. Kind of back to the wall. Teleport out. Spinaroonie keeps the pressure on. Nice clash. Up. Oh. Grand very fast, though. Takes advantage. Goes to the corner. EX Tim's falling a little short there. Coming up and over. No, punishing that with DP. Good super confirm. Oh, that was a nice uh, crouch medium into, into EX Tim's. Alright, alright. Alright, no, we're playing pokes. This is good. Everyone needs to play neutral. Learn your neutral, kids. Should be like times tables, the food pyramid, and neutral. <laughs> Speaking of learning, kind of kind of taking spiral to school on this round. Nice off the wall and into the full conversion. Yes. So tied right now. Sorry, whoops. I have to do tournament stuff. All right. Yo! Spiral kind of exposing his back to kind of there. But... There we go. There's the DP counter. Kind of just playing mobile. Back throw. Yeah, there we go. Now we can play... Now we can play suppression in the corner. Now we can play I get eight guesses. And another big super finish to do that. All right, so kinda. Game one. Oh, and we're getting a character swap, it looks like. I wonder who Spiral's gonna go to. Ah, Soros, okay. Gonna overwhelm the opponent with our superior strength. Talk to him, old man. Now this right here is gonna be one hell of a showdown. I'm ready for ya. <laughs> I don't recall changing any language settings. Why is Sora's in English and Beals is in Japanese? 
Oh, nice. Good use of the roundhouse there. Solid corner pressure. Oh, nice. Kind of with the EX dive. All right. It's player-based. You can't force it. Oh, that's really different. I figured all those decisions would make fly inside. Oh. Nice. Good armor. Up to three stacks. Two more to go. And we're hitting the install. Ah, unfortunately, chip damage is there. There we go. Dash punch to start things off. In the Rendon. Throwing out the... Just burning all the EX varieties of all these. And Spyro with the good read on the teleport. Yeah, it gets knocked back a little bit. Oh, caught after the dive. What happened there? Spiral uh, tried to hit a button. Uh, Spiral once again trying to time out the uh, the recovery frames on that teleport. Gets hit by the dive, catches the hair flip as well, and now we got a little bit of a corner combo. There's the overhead. Yo, into the little fight fist. All right, Spiral once again tying things up round wise, but Kaino only needs one more. Take the match. There we go. There's some good pokes and it confirms. Yo. Spiral just just letting letting Beals wear himself out via over punching. <laughs> Essentially. That dash punch is so fast. Yeah, I, I could imagine it like, punishing close to near anything. Yo, nice. Good armor. And just these huge, these like, these incredibly important, but just very reactive and very fast punish confirms. Spiral ties it up. All right, now that is the one thing that Spiral cannot uh, match Beals on. His projectile usage, but dash punch might as well just be a projectile that gets you with inside punching range. All right. Spiral. Burns his EX, but it was part of a pretty good combo, so those uh, those specials are already coming back. Nice! Takes kind of right out of the air with that. And another Wolf Fang Fist to finish it off. Spiral now match point. Ah, runs right into the counter. Yeah. Nice lube. Oh! Armors through the counter. That was genius. Nailed by the overhead and gets swept off his feet. There's an overhead back. And overhead right into Wolf Fang Fist one more time. That is the set. Spiral coming back with it. 2-1 over Kaina. Nerf this character already, Capcom. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Nerf this character already, Capcom. All right. Even hit him with the British GG. <laughs> GG's mate. <laughs> Spiral. Oh, you. All right, next up. It's going to be Shuabu versus Kitsune Kess.
Style69, what's up? Thank you. Thank you for joining us tonight. Hey, and there's uh, Rice Boy, aka Telastra, following the channel. Big thank you, big thank you. And uh, I should mention everybody that uh, right now we do have a Macharino going for uh, for the com for the competitors tonight. Um, if you hit the Macharino command in the chat, uh, you'll uh, get the link and the coupon code that you can use to drop a free 50 cents into the prize pool. Right now, I see we have about 20 folks watching. We can get that that uh, that cash up there into the double digits real easy, real real easy. I'll be tossing in a little bit on my own later uh, later tonight, but in the meantime, please use our newly acquired 50 cent coupons to just bolster the heck out of this prize pool, because we love Grand Blue Fantasy here and we want to keep it going. But yes, and thank you Merp Coon for the follow as well. Also a new face with us tonight. All right, so Shubu's on their way. Cass is already over at the... What's this? Nezu bullies me! No. No one no one bullies my, my twin-tailed compatriot here. Bullying bad. <laughs> Gem Icarus, thank you for the follow. But yes, if you have not been here before, welcome to Thursday Night Grand Blue Fantasy Versus oh, uh, here at Matchstick Melee. Uh, we started doing this uh, as just a thing that the, the local scene wanted to do. Uh, for those of you who don't know, we're out of Columbus, Ohio. Uh, but we started doing this as a thing that the the local crew wanted to do. They all, I was like, which version do I get? They said, uh, we all have PC. So I was like, okay, well... Um, I guess I can get PC. And here we are doing PC weeklies. Uh, Shubu said they're on their way. Kitsune, don't, don't worry. Um, but yeah. Do, 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 do. After this one, we'll go with uh, the Rowlet Reminiscent match. And after that, it will be Kilo and Telastra. And that will take care of our round uh, two winners. It'll be the semis round after that, winners final. And we'll finish out top four or uh, dip into top eight if we need to fill some time. But yeah, uh, so back to the... Back to how we got started on this. Um, so I pretty much knew nothing about Grand Blue Fantasy. Uh, gun to my head, I still don't exactly, but I do love the game. And uh, uh, I love the uh, the community that has sprouted up around it. And there's Shubu. So yeah, let's uh, let's have me shut up about the history of it and watch the actual fight. How about that nonsense? Ah, that's right, Shubu. Sora's main. That's right. That's right. Believe in victory. Here we go. Oh, I misspelled. That's another thing you'll see a lot here. All better. All right. A lot more people look like they're switching to the lane these days. At least from what I'm seeing. Wow. Cast kind of being taken apart, but going on offense. Yo! Nice! Good evasion around the Wolf Fang Fist. Okay. Time for some time for some safe actions. And of course, when uh, when frame advantage goes away, it's time to call in Mama. Pretty good amount of damage, although most of it was blocked. And right now Cass is trying to out 
Hmm, outpaced Shuubu on damage, but it's just not happening. Shuubu saw the, uh, saw the opening in the Brother Summon and just went for it. Nice. All right, cap out with the one twos, checking low. Nice, switch to overhead. Ah, Shubu with the back throw. And now we got a wall combo. Oh, was not able to tag in the air, and that means we got chicken fight mode. Ah, it, it's so hard to figure out the appropriate, like, like, uh, uh yo. Yeah, figure out the appropriate spot dodge timing during Chicken Fight. All right, Shubu with the install. Nice! Good counter. Oh, you got to be so careful during Soros' install. All right, Shubu with game one. Looking pretty good, looking pretty good. These are close rounds, though. All right, Shubu taking pretty significant damage here. Getting forced to the corner. Okay, flutter kick, no go. Kitsune cast covering, uh, Kitsune cast covering their ass with, uh, with the brothers. Oh. That's actually perfect. No, that was the correct response. Like, <laughs> punish the crowd's light with transformation. Oh, here comes the install again, though. Any stray hit could lead to death. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, why did I have to verbalize what we were all thinking? Wow, super jump in. Long after frames from that jump light. Yeah, cap out with the I-beams. Wow, Shubu just directing the flow of energy during this match right now. Has the crazy mix-up character just pinned in a corner, and now you must suffer all of Soros' honesty. <laughs> oh, man. Well, that is going to do it. Shubu with the 2-0 over Kitsune Cass. So Shub moves on to winner's final where they will play Spiral at some point in the near future. Uh, like I said, up next we have Rowlet and Reminiscent. And that puts uh, Kitsune Cass against Kaina in the lower bracket. Unfortunately, we lost Merp. Thank you for coming tonight, Merp. <laughs> Hope you had fun. Hope you stick around and... Uh catch the rest of the tournament. Should be pretty good. Should be pretty good. All right. So, I've been I've been kind of going over uh Guilty Gear with with like a, a you know, not a fine-toothed comb, but at least a, a critical eye in terms, uh, like, in regards to their lobby system. And uh, I've come to the conclusion that they they really could have done it a lot more like Grand Blue. I'll tell you what, though, the one thing I like is when people come in the room, your controller vibrates. All right, when people just get in the room, the controller vibrates. That's good. I like that. That could be a little thing that they could add to GBVS in the future if they, you know, if Arxis has a mind to. Uh, they can do it while they're updating the netcode. There you go. Um, but uh, the thing I don't like is, I don't, and I don't know if other PS4 players have uh, noticed this, 
it puts the the PlayStation 4 controller on the highest vibration setting to the point where it's like the neighbors are knocking to see if you're okay because it sounds like a machine gun went off. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, there's a rallet. Roll it! And there's remnant. See, they just sneak in on you, man. It's very disturbing. One radish, please. Oh, yeah. Percy. Oh, oh. I haven't seen Narmaya for a while, too. Okay, this is good. This is this is uh, solid matchup knowledge, and I'm, I'm sure not a whole lot of people have access to. In victory. Here we go. All right, and we're, we're working on a, on a red theme today, too. That's great. Ooh. Ow. Rallet really going ham right now. Nice. Good DP from Reminiscent. Comes in over top. Oh, that was so nice and just... Just so... Such an ambiguous jump in. And um, it looked like he got everything off of that he wanted. Oh, yeah. Berserker Barrage. Man, just the first round of that had some pretty severe back and forth. How's it going to go from here? All right. Rowlet grabbing some distance at the start of the round. Both of these characters with an extremely strong poke range. I'd say Narmaya's maybe a little bit better due to the Eido combos in, in a lot of ways. But Percival's got the uh, the reliability, the full length of that blade. Ooh. And of course it's an Armaya wall combo. You're basically in the blender. GG's. Nothing personnel, kid. Believe in victory. While you were chasing the Holy Grail, I was studying the blade. Yo. All right. Rem came in fast and hard. Rallet DP to get some safety. Nice. Dash up to grab, but of course Rem was ready for that. Oh, not that time, though. Yeah, the, the entire battlefield is, is being used. We've got some good corner pressure here. The throw, not the biggest thing to worry about against Narmaya. You just don't want to get taken off your feet in the corner. That's the big one. Oh, got the jump. Another forward throw. Oh, Rowlet whips the anti-air and Reminiscent gets free reign here. Yep. Here's the EI. Rowlet takes Rem off his feet. Oh, and checking that dash. Very smart. Reminiscent match point. Okay, Rowlet taking a little bit of damage so far, giving it back with a nice DP. Reminiscent unable to follow up. Rowlet trying to stay out of the corner, but also away from Reminiscent right now. Oh, good tag. Okay. Oh my goodness, dude. Getting, her, get, getting Rowlet closer and closer to the edge. Oh, 
Oh, that might have been the uh, that might have been the advantage that Rowlet was looking for. Life totals have evened out a bit. Rowlet just needs to be just needs to be smart about this. Make the big smart plays. Thirty-four seconds left. This could still absolutely go either way. A little bit of fireball pressure. Build the stack back up. Uh oh. Oh. Unfortunate. Rowlet dashed a crouch and reminiscent just ready for it with a quick uh, confirm into a combo. That will do it. All right, Reminiscent 2-0 over Rowlet. But good games, fellow humans. Uh, before we move on to our next match, which will be uh, Talastra versus Kilo, uh, I just want to mention once again, we do have a match arena tonight. Uh, you can go ahead and use that code, MSMGBVS46. Uh, sorry, 46 to add 50 cents into the prize pool uh, for free right now. Um, it's already grown quite substantial. Uh, thank you, everybody, for that. It's already up to close to $20. Uh, very generous of all of you. I'll be adding a bit of cash to the pot myself later on. Um, but for now... We get to see some uh, some Kilo and Telastra. So most likely Gran or... Oh, actually, now that I mention it. Um, oh, come on. Vazaraga. There we go. So either Gran or Vazaraga versus uh, what's already been proven to be a pretty competent Gita. Belial. Jita! I forgot he had Jita. That's on me. That's my bad. <laughs> Believe in victory. Battle one. All right, here we go. <laughs> Kilo actually taking the first bit of damage this round. Interesting. <laughs> Looks like Talaster's really holding his own. Oh, there we go. All right. Oh, my goodness. Kilo with the interrupt. Now the wake-up pressure. Trying to provoke a whiff punish. To last or not falling for it, though. Gets the pogo. No follow-up. That DP was pretty significant. Oh, nice. That anti-air was exactly what Talaster needed to finish out the round. And Kilo's starting to pick now. Okay, Talastra getting the cross up this time, putting Kilo into the corner. Oh, gets the wall juggle, okay. Oh, another one. Oh my goodness, that was basically a reset. Drops it though. Kilo now fighting his way back out. Forward throw. Ooh, another forward throw. You'll see Kilo doing that a lot when the pressure's on. Oh, no big punish there. Oh. Commando grab. Okay, Talaster, game one. Believe in victory. Battle one. All right, Kilo starting it off. Kind of very similar to last round. Oh, whiffs the DP, but is okay. Blaster picks up the uh, the next combo organically. There's the DP. Solid AA. Nice. I think I think he just knocked Blaster out of the out of the overhead. And yeah, that sure is a uh, super confirmed finish. All right. Kilo with the round advantage this game. Oh, 
Ah, now we're doing good. Oh, except for that whiff DP. Forward throw there. Kilo seems to be having a little bit of trouble. Gets the last draw off his feet. Now has uh, Belial in the corner. Nice, good stuff here at mid-screen. Kilo doing his best to fight back. Gets tagged. Oh, went for the throw, but it was a pogo. To last for tying things up round-wise, and now takes it to match point situation. All right. A lot of, lot of little hits going back and forth here. Even the DPs aren't uh, hitting that significantly. No cross-up this time. Oh, good interrupt. Ah, oh, mistimed the AA. There's the EX projectile. Kilo looking like... Uh, might be having a hard time here. Nice slow up to Pogo. And, yep, this will confirm. That will do it. All right. To Lastra. Going 2-0 against Kilo over here. Pretty impressive showing, gotta say. All right. That means we've got Kilo down in the lower bracket fighting Rowlet. Oh, that's probably going to be a banger. I'm sad we're going to miss that. We are going to move on to Shuabu versus Spiral. Winner Semi. And uh, real quick, let me get in here and see if I can thank personally the people who are bringing the, the total of this, uh, this prize pool up so much. Yo, all right, current top five. Tate and Lastra, I can imagine who that is, donating $10.50 to the pool. Lil Creepy Sleepy with another $10.50. Three Frame Jad, $9.60. Sir Carried a Lot and Styly also contributing. Sorry. Thank you so much. Sorry. And we're moving on to Shuabu. <laughs> That's right, versus Spiral. The Sora's Mirror, you never know you want it. Oh my goodness. Alright, Shubu has already got the spiral down by about half. Yikes. Yikes. Oh my god, just a standard forward throw to do it. Oh man. And it's a, it's a classic red versus blue uh, shena, uh, scenario. Nice AA though by Spiral. Getting back in there, trying to put the hurt on old red. Oh no, oh no, off the wall, no, no, no. Couldn't get there in time. It's really only one confirm away though. Spiral needs to, yeah, there we go. Spiral needs to land the big hits. Oh, chip damage. I got stabbed with this Dorito and suffered chip damage. Cryptic, I don't know why Spiral isn't commentating his own match. He said, he said he's not cleared to, uh, to commentate yet. <laughs> oh, nice neutral jump, actually. And a good interrupt. Spiral winning a lot of these choice matchups. Oh, nice clash. One, two. Oh, confirm it. It will bank fist. Spiral, you genius. I hope somebody clipped that exchange. That was baller. Yo, right, really? Shubu, you're doing him like that? You're hitting him with the mad world? Oh, no. 
at the end of the day. It's just a mad world. Not a bad start for Spiral this round, though. The desperation uh, adrenaline must be kicking in. Okay. Cross up. EX Rendon. Oh, back throw into the corner. Everything going according to Shuabu's Keikaku. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not like this. Oh, Spiral was doing so good. <laughs> Double Mad World. How dare you? <laughs> And that is a quick 2-0 victory for Shuabu. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> aye, aye. <laughs> GG, mate. Uh, jog on, mate. <laughs> All right. That means we're moving on to Talastra versus Reminiscent. Yeah, I typed that correct, like a boss. <laughs> Kills game is is was 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 the rapid loss of life that you saw on screen just too much? <laughs> I get it. I get it. Oh, and thank you for the follow, by the way. And remember, folks, if you haven't hit up the uh, the Macherino just yet, uh, please go ahead and do so. Uh, hit the, the Macherino command in our chat. Uh, our code tonight is MSMGBVS46. That's good for 50 cents into the prize pool for nothing. For nothing! Free real estate. Oh, Jad, I oh, I think you're yeah, three frame Jad. I think you're trying to post a clip in the in the thing. I we can't. I don't have uh, outside things right. You can whisper it to me, and I'll try to get it in here at some point. But uh, yeah. That's just how it be. Anyway, Telastra, Belial. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, Reminiscent, Narmaya. Ooh, that'll be a nice one. Sky647 out there in the chat. Thank you for coming by. Sky, do us a favor. If you haven't already, hit up that Macherino, please. They're worth 50 cents now. It's crazy times. There we go. There's the clip. Thank you to 3 Frame Jad for that. <laughs> buff men doing buff men things. Yeah. I mean, uh, where's the lie? Where is Reminiscent? Did we lose him? Reminiscent. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Yeah, we're up to $41 on this uh, on this prize pool tonight, and that's even before uh, my, my own contribution, so thank you, everyone. You're doing the Lard's work. Okay, looks like Kilo and Rowlet has resolved in other news. There 
we go. There's Rem. Okay. I thought he died. <laughs> Let's see. Looks like Kilo took it over Rowlet two to one. Well, there goes our Percival. There we go. Come on, race you. Oh, I'm going slow. Oh, come on. <laughs> Alrighty. So, yeah. Give Rem a gun. Yeah, everyone, everyone gets guns in this game now. Everyone gets a gun. No, wait, what happened to that new gun character? I guess he just wasn't cool enough. Hashtag give rem. Yes, that's exactly how you make things happen. You gotta hashtag it. See, styly, styly, you can learn stuff from, from Sir Carried a lot over here. All right, and with this match, we will decide who moves on to winner's final. Believe in victory. Battle one. I love it. Let's see it. Oh. All right, Telaster with a pretty, uh, pretty simple jump-in plan there at the start. Gets the forward throw. I'm kind of worried about uh, Reminiscent. Oh, there we go, there we go. There's buttons being hit. I, I didn't see anything except, like, the down back holding. Okay. Jump for spacing. Oh, gets pogoed. Wow. Confirm into the full animation. Oh, there's some pretty, pretty severe corner pressure going on here. Nice! Good change of position. Oh! There we go! Couldn't take it all the way to the wall, but still pretty clean. We'll just go corner to corner, that's all. Explore this world and everything in it. Nice! Using the iframes on that EXDP to take the round. Okay, tie game so far. Okay. Looks like Reminiscent taking Telastra off his feet. More pressure, more pressure at mid-screen. Not taking these jump-ins. A lot of stance changing going on. Got to alter your options to, to suit the mood. Nice tag. Confirmed to the super, of course. Full animation. Nah. Wow, shutting down the projectile, punishing that DP. And Reminiscent takes game one. Pretty handily, I would say. Things look a little shaky at the, at the start, but uh, yeah, now Telastra has to turn it up a notch. All right, and right away, Reminiscent taking it to the corner, using that awesome Narmaya pressure, not to mention the moment she takes you off your feet in the corner, it might be over. Oh, whiffs the AA, Pogo. There we go. Oh, had Berserker Slash, but Telastra got on D. <sighs> Full animation. Oh. 
But Reminiscent still has uh, enough life to his name. The chip uh, damage isn't much of a concern at this point. So let's see if we can go corner to corner. Good throw. It's pretty much even footing at this point. Oh, nice tag. And yeah, that's going to be Telastro snagging around. Good pressure. They're just feeling each other out. Okay, nothing too severe there. Oh, nice. That looked like EX Asmodeus, I believe. And uh, yeah, Rem just said, nah, <laughs> not my table. <coughs> Good throw break. Oh my goodness, just shut it down. Eats a DP though on the way into pressure. That looked like the start of a good with punish. Talasher is not like canceling into the into the like the correct conversion there. Oh, there's the overhead, but it's not enough to go off of. EXDP. What's the wake up plan? Nice Berserker Slash! And I believe that was an attempt to, uh... Ah, uh, he's blocking, sir. Yep. I say, I believe that was an attempt back there to do some chip damage out. But here we are, reminiscent match point. Reminiscent in the corner at the start of this to Laster coming in. Nice forward throw. Gets DP'd on a whiff. And now this is this is pretty much Narmaya's turn to at least push Belial across the screen. Oh. To Laster, though, not content for that scenario, goes and takes his turn. Big Asmodeus. Oh, and there it is. That probably confirms into a kill. No! Damage scaling! Saves, saves, saves! Uh, Talastra ties it up, one to one. It's getting spooky here in Winter Semi. Okay. DP out of the corner. We're back to mid-screen. Ah, there you go. Telastra getting a tag. Ooh, big knockdown. Catch is reminiscent. Oh, Pogo. All right, so what's the game plan here? Berserker slash back to mid screen. Nice interrupt. Checking those dashes. Oh no! The chip damage! That was like blocked and everything. That's unfortunate. All right, match point to Lastra. And go an empty jump to start things off. Bold. Bold move. Okay, we got Blockster in the corner. Nice confirm there by Rem, getting a good 20% uh, damage. Both checking each other with nice quick lows. Oh, had that late jump in. Just no follow up. There's the overhead, nothing coming out of it. EXDP, sure, 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 sure. Yeah, why don't you stay in uh, Block Stun for a little bit? Or better yet, Hit Stun. <laughs> All right, we're fighting back towards mid-screen. To last, we're not, uh, not one to have it go down like that. Doesn't want a final round. Oh. Nice! Good response to the in-between uh, frames of the Pogo. Reminiscent tying it back up again, and here we are, final round. It's probably our most hotly contested match yet. 
That's a big start for Talastra. Oh, nice spot dodge versus the overhead. Reminiscent pretty much has full reign here. I believe like five for five on those uh, on those side swaps. Rem can get Talastra to the corner. I mean, that's huge damage. Forward throw. All right. Talastra's really working all the angles. There's the command grab. Oh. And a quick low kick finishes it all off to Lastra. Squeaking that one out. Two to one over Reminiscent. Winner semi. And Bisu's here, everybody. What up, Bisu? All right. Well, it looks like everyone's been uh, patiently waiting. Five or six frames. Don't blame him. I mean... <laughs> Uh, is who proud? Is who proud? <laughs> Alod the fatty. <laughs> okay. Um, well, actually, we were going to... It looks like everyone was waiting for top eight, so... Uh, let me ask... Uh, Want to do that or be on stream after Spiral? Because we can do that. I'm just asking the players, uh, guys. Uh, wait. Just asking the players if uh, they want to do their uh, losers' quarters matches on stream, or just go for it while we do winners final. Sure thing. <laughs> Okay. Well, looks like uh, Kilo's coming in for his match, so we'll do Spiral and Kira. Spiral and Kilo, no matter what. <laughs> All right. Come on, Kilo. Let's get you set up. All right, so it looks like we're going to be seeing our losers' quarters matches tonight, guys. First up, Kilo and Spiral. So we'll knock these out. We'll go do winner's, uh, winner's final. Oh, yeah. We'll knock these two out, and then we'll do top four. Oh, we're doing grand. Okay. It's a grand mirror. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Tim. Tim's everywhere. All right, so Spiral actually started off the night playing as Gran, uh, swapped to Sores uh, during uh, during his fight with Kaina. But uh, looks like we're back in the saddle. Nice 
Nice pressure here. Spiral at a huge life deficit. Oh! If that had been a juggle, it would have been over. As it stands, I think Kilo could probably win this on chip damage. Yeah. Raw Tim's work too. All right, Kilo with the first round. Nice. All right, we got a little back and forth going. Nice. EXDP finisher on that combo. Push the corpse. Spiral taking a lot of initiative here. That's very brave, especially against an expert grand player like Kilo. Oh, look at that. Perfectly symmetrical violence, kids. There we go. EX Tim's off the wall. Big damage. Super confirm. Of course, scaling, scaling, scaling. But it does put Spiral in range of one simple forward throw. Or pretty much any button in the arsenal now. Yep. DP included. All right. Game one going to Kilo. All right, game two, no character swap. Oh, good jump in from Spiral at the start of the round. Takes an easy 20% off of Kilo's life bar. Yeah, make that 30-some percent. DP back from Kilo, keeping things uh, nice and neutral. Look at the clashes! And Spiral wins the exchange. Look at that. There's that wall combo stuff. And I would say damage scaling's not going to save uh, Kilo on that one. Big dabblage, big dabblage all around. Nice, just the tip of that EXDP and Spiral pushes Kilo to the corner. Nice air snipe, Kilo now trying to work its way back across the screen. Another forward throw. Third one, we doing hat tricks? Nope, we're getting our dash checked. Oh, yeah, that's gotta be punished. It's gotta be. Now Kilo does his own super, yep. Spiral's still alive. Really? Okay. Ah, oh, unfortunately. Shot down on his way in. Kilo at match point. Kilo wins that air-to-air -air and starts starts the ball moving. Nice projectile war we got going on here. DP beats the Tims. Good to know, good to know. Okay, tries to get the cross-up on Wake Up. EX Fireball. Spiral now controls the field. Has Kilo's back to the wall, but a big trip now in a reversal of uh, positions. Oh, it's over. Man, that went from hopeful, hopeful to dismal in like a split second. And Kilo takes that match 2-0 over Spiral. Which means, unfortunately, we do not have a Spiral Hero Z in our bracket anymore. Valiant effort, though. Valiant effort. That one round where he, he damn near perfected uh, Kilo, that was some good stuff. GG's tonight, Spiral. GG's, mate. All right, that means we're on to our other loser's quarter. Uh, reminiscent and kinda. And then it's off to winner's final. By the way, we are at $52 on that Macherino. Um, if you've... <laughs> Hopefully get back in losers, losers. Yeah, this is actually a triple elimination bracket. I don't know if you guys know that. <laughs> That's...
But uh, yeah, if you folks have not hit the Maturino already, please do so. Um, the code uh, MSMGBVS46 will throw 50 cents into the uh, into the prize pool for absolutely nothing. Mad Simp Killer. Uh, and uh, yeah, 100% uh, of it goes to the top three players tonight. Uh, like I said, we were already at $52 thanks to some very generous donations from folks just like you. Uh, but... Hey, uh, free money is free money, right? Not to mention we've also got uh, some sponsor quests, and I believe one from uh, your boy Tibola as well. So uh, if you want to drain that one dry, get in there. Yeah, this is this is really generous of you guys. Uh, Talastro with with ten dollars fifty cents. Uh, Little creepy sleepy with another ten fifty. Three frame Jad with nine sixty. Merp with uh, six fifty. Said I would donate. How many frames Rice Boy gets with Rem? Turns out it was six frames. Oof. <laughs> and uh, Rallet tossing in five fifty as well. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh man. Hope my knuckles cracking didn't just get picked up on the capture. <laughs> All right, so we're looking at a Narmaya versus Beelzebub. Yes, and big thanks to everybody who joined us tonight. Uh, who has joined us tonight, I should say. Uh, you guys are keeping Grand Blue Fantasy Versus alive uh, while all the new stuff is slowly coming out. Um, I gotta say, it's a very tight-knit community for, for a, a game that never goes on sale. <laughs> I believe uh, there was a... I, I caught a meme on Twitter earlier where somebody was like, like, what it actually costs to enter every every tournament in CEO coming up and the the two at the end were Grand Blue Fantasy versus and Guilty Gear Strive and someone's like why <laughs> is it still sixty dollars to own a two-year-old game to play it at uh, to play it at CEO all right we got a 112 here. Rallet, I'm sorry if you whisper that to me, buddy. I can probably uh, share it here, but I got uh, I got the no outside links thing going on. By the way, General Steel SF, thank you for uh, give us, giving us the follow and kills game. If I didn't say you already, here we go. All right, so we've already swapped sides. Rem taking a little damage so far, but nothing can't come back from. Ah. Okay, got the dive. Ram knows better to stick his hand in that uh, particular barrel of piranhas. All right, we got 100% meter on both sides. Comparable life totals. Kind of doing a pretty good job of acquiring, of just accumulating a lot of chip damage. Even on block, just, just getting Rem to, to leave him alone. And there it is. Spin a Rooney for round one victory. Oh! Missed time the anti air. Nothing coming off of that, but this dive from uh, Kaina coming in. Overhead, knocks to the ground, gets a little bit of wake up. There's the slow fall activated by the black hole. And forward throw again. What's the wake up? Ah. Went low on the get up and kind of game one. Okay, okay, okay. All right, dive for spacing. No response to the aerial maneuvers by Rem. There we go. Caught low. Gets a knockdown. Push the corpse to the corner. Solid jump in from Kai. 
Yep. Full charge projectile. Ignored by sidestepping. Rem going on offense here. Whoa! Kind of kind of over there with a bit of the corner zoomies. I don't know if anybody saw that. Ah! Dive getting through the AA. And right now, kind of really trying to provoke a, like a big whiff. Yep. All right, DP, this is a chance for life here. Another solid wake up plan. Had up, uh, thought, uh, yeah, Rem thought he had a read on a, on a, uh, on a wake up button. Oh, empty jump, so provocative now. Hang on, because they are very... Oh, right. Right. <laughs> I thought it was the other one. The one you've got to be, like, right up in their butthole for. <laughs> Forgot about the about the big, the big drill. All right. Rem pushing kind of the wall. Big Spooner... The yeah, Spooner Rooney? Spooner Rooney. I'm breaking down, folks. Oh, the block the XDP is going to be a free combo. Good time on the teleport. Low altitude dive. Picks up a couple stray hits down there. Wow, just walk up grab. And now we have corner pressure again. Kai really wants to finish it here. This is match point after all. Remedy gets the knockdown. Nice pickup. Another good uh, BNB. Oh no! And that will do it. Kinda. Two O on reminiscent. Pretty clean. Pretty clean. All right, and with that, we have our final four established. Up in winner's final, we have Talastra versus Shuabu. Uh, after that, we'll go to loser semi for Kaina versus Kilo. Um, and, of course, uh, yeah, we're pretty much at that place where the bus drives itself. So, uh, let's get into that. I think I have another message here. Oh, Rallet. That's right. Rallet had the, the link to the, the thing I was just talking about. With the cost of entering GBVS and well, yeah, the cost of owning GBVS and everything else in order to play in CV and in, in order to play in CEO. Anywho, uh, let's move on to our Talastra Shuabu fight. Do do do. Winners final. So this will be a three out of five. Just uh, let's see. And yeah. Belia versus Beelzebub. You gotta love it when the Dark Lords fight. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. All right. Let's see what they've got. Right. So Shu is off of Sora's for this match. Interesting choice. Oh, EX uh, counter gets blocked. Not that it really costs uh, Shu that much in the way of damage. Blaster being very patient, I have to say. There's the Pogo. He says Modius. Oh, gets the wall juggle off of it too. And Shu just getting kind of chewed up here. Will that kill? Nah, there was so much scaling. I didn't even do half of what was left. Holy crap. Okay, nice air to air. Oh, eats the DP on, on the get up. 
And Talastra wins round one. All right. Shu with the big spin of Rooney to start things off. Oh. Got the pogo, missed the cross up. Coming in low. No chance to spot dodge the projectile. Oh. Asmodeus to the corner. Nice. Counter a counter with a counter. That, my friends, is a crisscross. Forward throw from Shu. Teleports himself into the corner. EX Spinner Rooney. And now we work it the opposite way. Oh, nice DP. All right, I think Talastra's putting Shu on notice not to do any more uh, projectile stuff. Oh my god, that low altitude pogo. Is that going to do it? Oh, no, 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 no. Not yet, not yet. Oh. Without some excellent spot dodges, I think Talastra might go down to chip. Oh, good tech. And yeah, what, stand light? Woo. Shoe coming in clutch. All right, DP beating dive is the uh, the starting the start of the show on this one. Melio with the Asmodeus, doing it again. Hell yeah, we're doing it again. Let me touch your face. Apparently, I Talastra must be doing the pogos in such an ambiguous spot. Oh, nice, good use of the counter. Got him! That's some pure raw damage there. Shu just gets uh, run checked on the way in, that's all. Talastra taking game one. Oh my goodness, had time to recover and launch a DP. There we go, there's the counter, teleport to the opposite side. Back throw, of course, now to play suppression. Shu gonna keep Talastra in block stun for as long as possible, or at least until the hits start landing. Oh, hit that counter. Counter back. And Talastra is just ready for these dives. Forward throw, uh-oh. Oh, saw you with your foot out. Spinner to start things off. Oh, that was light DP. Good throw break. Trade on the opposite side. Talastra wins air to air, gets a couple of stray hits in. Pogo, same side. Shubu's gotta be feeling a little demoralized. However, with DP is plenty of uh, reason to celebrate. Gets it on the opposite side as well. If Shu can pick this up here in the corner, it might be it might be the end of the round. Oh, went forward throw. Interesting. <gasps> Are you serious? That low altitude pogo went right over the super? That's nuts. Oh, that box is so tiny. Oh my goodness, Shu just having no luck getting in around this. This bullet hell, almost quite literally. Oh, and there's that confirm. Combo was pretty high. Yeah, there we go. So Shu still on their feet. Never mind. <laughs> and that's a 2-0 uh, lead right now for Talastra. Anti-air, activate slow fall, get a nice uh, little aerial rave. Oh my goodness. Talastra just seems to know the angles, man. Throwing out the projectiles to just get right in the way of the, the, the Beelzebub dive. Oh, what a good response. Saw the projectile charging up and Talastra just launches the DP. Mm. 
scaling for sure. It'll probably save Shugu. Now, what's the guess? Oh, good tech. Took a little bit of damage, though, because that was late. And a DP during the jump away to Lastra. Match point now. All right, clash at the start. DP beats out the dive. We've seen it a million times. Okay, just wake up throws. That's fine. Good counter. And some good damage here. Now we get a wall combo. Uh-oh. Ruh row Ruh row Okay, that looked like an easy input. And, yep, EX counter. Shubu has a round. They can do it again. They'll take the pressure off of this match point uh, situation. Shoe in the corner, though. That's probably the last place you want to be against the Belial. Oh, my goodness. That DP just going right through everything. EX Asmodeus. Uh, there's that overhead. That looked healthy enough to, uh, to start a combo from. Oh, no. You cannot throw uh, Belial out of that pogo. From what we've seen, you can't even super him out of the pogo. And there's the confirm. All right, to Lastra going 3 0 and winner's final over Shubu. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. That's the minus button. Got it. Okay, time for some losers. Uh, sorry, some loser semifinals. Uh, we're gonna do Kaina and Kilo. So we're back to two out of three on this one. I like this kind of sepia tone charlotta. This is nice. <laughs> Looks like a princess you'd save in Cuphead or something. I mean, am I wrong? <laughs> I don't think I'm wrong. Oh. Yeah, thanks to everybody who's still with us. Um, I'm always surprised at how fast Grand Blue goes. Like, here we are in top four. We're already, we're already down one of the four matches in top four. And we're only at an hour 30 for this uh, for this whole stream. All right. Let's go. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Both these two using their mains. Let's see who comes out on top. A lot of jockeying for position pretty early here. I like that. Of course, Kaina is going to do everything to keep uh, being cornered by Gran. Just probably looking for that good opportunity to throw out a counter or a spin a Rooney from space and then just start playing the teleport game. There we go. Reversal of fortunes. Ah, oh, that DP is getting punished, sir. You can't park that there. Street cleaning tomorrow. Good spot dodge. Retaliates with EX. Projectile, okay. Oh, man. 
See, and that counter was so well spaced, I, I almost believe that it wouldn't get punished. And of course, just a basic forward throw to finish things off. Kilo, not Kilo, Kilo just turned that whole thing on a dime. Kilo wasting no time this round. Putting kind of in the corner. Dive getting kind of some space. Got some spinner Rooney. Nice counter once again. I believe it erupted the startup of the... Yeah! And that move is fast. Uh oh. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, come on. Come on, Arxis. Come on, Arxis! Ah! Oh. All right, now we got to find out if it's just me or. <laughs> all right, we all got kicked out. All right. You know what? You know what? Honestly, I think it's. I, I tried making a nine-person lobby. I I think I, I've only ever seen this happen with the nine-person lobbies. All right. Well, oh, I got to spectate. No, I don't, actually. Okay, well. It shouldn't affect its shoe, but at the same time, uh, all I have is empirical data. <laughs> now, granted, it could be... Uh... Oh, shoot. You know what? Never mind. All right, they're going to rectify the situation, I believe. Oh no, they're they're fighting. Cause Kilo had that first round. Look at that big meaty wake up. Okay. Are they are they just going from the top of it? I feel like they're just going from the top. Because there was no Discord chatter about how they wanted to hash that out. Alright, I guess we're rolling with it. EX Tim's to the corner. Oh, kind of gets caught, but... This is raw, too. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so that was two rounds really quickly. And they're just rematching. Oh, oh, man. I get the feeling they're, they're sprinting between... Uh, between Arx's uh, internet errors. I'm really kind of surprised Kilo didn't claim that first round back in back from game one. Ooh. Good confirm there. Not the most impressive damage, but uh, one more solid B&B &B might get kind of the win this round. Oh, and a blocked one could cost him everything in the corner. All right, that was easy input mode, though, from the looks of it. But a couple of quick uh, crouch lights. <laughs> Into the EXDP for no reason. Solid combo. Oh, are we going? To, we're going to the corner. Picked it up off the wall. Very nice. Kind of 
And a catch in Kilo with the projectiles. Off the wall again, into the confirm. Wow. Kind of on a warpath here. Whoop. Yeah, punishing the whip spinner Rooney in the corner now. Kilo stacking that damage on, trying to get this to go to game three. Nice DP. Ooh, got the EX dive. And there it is. There's your game three, everybody. Tempest Blade keeping hope alive here in uh, Loser's Semi. Oh, wait. Uh, did I miscount? Okay, I guess... I guess Kilo got that one. I must not have been paying attention. Oh, that's on me. I thought Kilo only had like one round in that first uh, in that first game. Maybe they progressed further than where we actually got to see it. Ah, uh, that must be it. That must be it. They progressed further than we were able to see, and that's why. Okay, well... As long as both uh, parties agree to it, I'm cool with it. We're rolling along. Uh, time for Loser's Final. Kilo and Shubu. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. And Shubu opting for Beals. Okay. Just in time. Ah! <laughs> look who it is, everybody. Spiral Hero Z. I'm tagging you super hard. Get in there. <laughs> oh, I, I have to broadcast to you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There it is. Lotus to end their off. It's all around one, but we'll be right here for battle two. The engage start coming over for both sides here. Run up for the kilo, keeping up the plus rate. Stay the pressure out with the lows. EX overdrive surge getting hopped over a shoe, but right into the chaos cow of pressure and back though. Crossover on the black fly. Same thing with the spot dodge on the dragon late here. And what an anti with the close heavy reset effect. Tried to bait out the field, but cost him out with the frame trap anyways. What a check out for it. Safety coming over a shoe side. And a DP coming in though, not a safe jab for it. He's gonna be doling it back with his own on the EX field. And we're back towards the neutral meter on deck for kilo. What a jump. Jump in EX boot, but a bit too far to get the wall bounce, but still able to catch him out. EX not going to be able to convert back it off the dire straights cover over for Shubu. He's going to have to hold it back. A of the block out the low on the Chaos Calibre. Same thing with the spot dodge on the Black Flies. And the Shadow Step getting checked out with the lights. Kilo tying it up. See, he's going to be able to take the edge out for game one as you see. Black Flies first strike going over to Shubu, spacing out the medium, and the two of them as well converted into the Chaos Calibre. Tried to bait out the Rising Sword, but Kilo remaining patient. Still, Life Lead going over to Shubu. See, spacing out. Spot dodge on the Regan Lave. Charge up on the Power Rays. Going oh, towards level four here. We'll see he's going to be able to get it out there. Tries to let it rock, but Shubu ready to interrupt him out with the Shadow Step. Pressures back towards the corner. Tries to pick out the medium, go for the throw, but Kilo ready with the jump in. And what a crouch confirm out. Take this in. And patience coming up for it. Burns out the use overdrive surge. Save it on the full sequence. Reset it back. Neutral jumps trying to bait out the throw, but Chubu remaining privy to it though. Meter on deck for both sides now. EEX Unison coming in for the clutch. Back towards the mid screen. 2H. Banner frame trap into the car, but jump back from Kilo. Just try to avoid any sort of throw coming in for it. 
Raise T. Now raise cancels. They're getting punished out. They'll cross over on the charge. Black flies. EX burned out for it. We'll see if the Regan Lave's going to be popped out for it. Power raise space and respecting the JH jump in here. Chaos Caliber getting smoked out by the Regan Lave. See, back and forth, spot dodge out on projectiles. We'll see what's out. Level 5, but gets clipped out with it, and pressure's gonna be back towards the corner. We'll see if he's gonna have a chance to use it as he goes for the tick attack on it, though. Keelan not biting back, stagger pressure off, standard frame trap here. Two, you not getting punished out by Shubu, and the power is level 5. We pay to draw here, and the EX rising, so to disrespect it. Not gonna be enough to kill, though, but what a meaty setup on that power raise. 5M gonna be able to clip him out. So, Kilo takes game one in loser's final. Three out of five, though, so Shu's got plenty of chances to come back. We'll figure out the buzz, too. We'll see the other key of the spacing. And right there, EX Unison can punish out the Regan Lake. And the safe jab out on the Rising Sword. Nice sequence coming over for him. As you see, takes out the medium once more, but able to get the jump back and the punish this time as we go back towards the mid screen. But the 2M getting punished out, though. And not a chase setup. Unfortunate stuff. Kilo ready to check up on it for a no meter on deck, but the power raise setup. You see, there's a back spot dodge on the TU to keep it safe in here. You see, on burn, and the black fly is getting interrupted out with the overdrive surge Yikes. right into the Tempest Blade. Where did that two in here? Light over dress to take the first strike here. Save the other jump in. No wall bounce in here. Good. Where's my heel? Just trying to keep the pressure up. But what an Abare coming over by Shubu. Unisonic still keeping it plus though, but the light rising started coming out there. Wasn't ready to block it out. Unfortunate stuff for it though. Gets clipped out once again. No super meter on deck, but a ton of damage out from that power raise level up and able to fake out the power raise there too. Yep. Wow. Game two, just like, don't look away. <laughs> Go back in the past and tell yourself not to have looked away. Shubu taking a bit of a breather, but going right into it. Gonna have to stick with clubs for the rest of the set, though. Regan Lay strike starts off with a bad spot dodge in a crossover, avoiding out the corner. Neutral jump, but what a two! Man, and a nice conversion. I'll a bit too far to get the EX overdrive search, but great awareness over by Kilo. Too far to get the two you follow up, but is he spacing out the counter hit confirm into the power race? Stagger pressure try and bait out the field, but Shubu remains patient, but still bad situation for it. What a disrespect of the block power race. Stagger pressure out with the light. Standard day for the EX Regan Lay. And see meter on deck, the one clean hit out. Still has the EX overdrive surge. Able to get some space out, right back into it with the EX. Sees them constantly baiting it out, though. But we see the EX field finally burned out to catch out the nice anti air. Full setup with the meaty. Shubu still remaining impatient. And Andrea in favor with him with that EX unisock. Rushes back towards the corner, but the EX rising sword clipping him out. Not able to get the safe jet. Shubu in a bad spot. Pretty clean, yeah. <laughs> hey, Kilo. On set point in here. Oh. There pressure out. Run up there getting whipped out, but you move a bit too slow on the whip punish. Fortunate stuff is to be back and forth, but EX Black Fly is able to punish out the leg and ready with 10. And what a catch in here, but no full hit confirm on that. Got the two hits, so wasn't able to convert into it. But still pressure is out though. Clash in favor of Shubu with that close light. Set up with the save. Yeah, low into it though. But what a check over with the 2 M convert out into the 2U. Pressure him back towards the corner. Stack of pressure out. Reset it back with the throw. Keeps it out with the shame back into the shimmy. See, keeping it out with the EX Chaos Caliber jump back to avoid the EX Overdrive Surge. Nice. And he's just going to cash out right into the Black Spear. Good check of damage, but not going to be enough to kill here. Still keep it safe. Dev set up back towards the mid screen. Overdrive Surge back on deck. One good hit. But we see EX Black Fly is not giving it a chance there as he pushes for Corey at a corner. Yo, and one really? call with the Karma. Is going to be close enough for it? Yes, it is. The Karma is wow. not going to be able to eat up the Catastrophe. A raw 4500, but not going to be enough to kill. That's the Shubu. Stare him down with your defiant oh, eyes. <laughs> Field cover over for the clutch, though. EX Black Fly is getting crossed over. Gotta be careful. EX Overdrive Ooh. Surge. We'll want to check out for it, though. 2 L actually getting beat out by the file. And what a bait on the U the Sonic. Got him. Too quick on the trigger with the EX Rising Sword. Shubu lives another round. He's going to be able to put this up on the board. Meeting Regan right there. And the Karma getting snuffed out, but a bit too low to get it. The full sequence out. Crouch confirmed. Oh, and not a great start. A good chunk of damage. Reset off with the power race. Still meaty. Standard out. Chash got your mouth with the Waka. Chubu. And that's a fight for his life there. What a 5 H facing out with it. But the Shadow Stick going to be able to clip him out. Trying to move. Fortunate for him. No wall bounce. He gets caught out with the frame shot once again. But the 2M keep out. Coming in clutch for him. Stairs the back. Chash go for a tick throw. Early tick come over from Kilo. Avoiding any chip that he can. I see meat. Besides, a bit of chip going with that EX Regan Lake trade. 
Yeah, see, just looking for a call out. Level 5 power raise for an empty jump on the Chaos Cavalry. Now you catch out the whiff from the shot. What an overdrive search beating out the Unisonic. Oh. it out for it in the field. It wasn't ready for the whiff on it. Tried to call it out though. Early tech on. Good stuff by Shu, but needs to know that he has to avoid it out. And the black flies. That's unfortunate. They both EX'd it, but it wasn't able to resolve in time with the, the Regan Lave. So Kilo takes that one pretty soundly. 3 0 in Losers Final. Now it was on to Grands against uh, Telastra. But yeah, good around. work Back tonight, Shuabu. Thank you for coming. And uh, don't forget to sign up uh, to the Matcherino. Uh, if you can hear my voice, I'll also do this in Discord. Uh, but yeah, Shuabu, uh, go put yourself on the Matcherino so we can get you paid out at the end of the night. Uh, before we go on with Grant, just want to thank everybody again for their huge generosity. Uh, you guys have made this an unexpectedly high uh, <laughs> Matcherino tonight. And uh, I'm sure all of our players, uh, all of our top three players will be uh, very, very grateful as well. I said, let's call for the match too. Don't forget to put in the code. We just got 50 cents on yeah, it. Yeah, baby. Looking at you, Omega. Looking we at you, Omega. Now. You're going to put it in, but we're going right into it. Grand Finals rocking the full record series with it. Nice patience over by Rice Boy. Going to be able to cut that up, but we see the light rising sword. Flipping out the throw attempt here. 5H convert off with it. But the stagger out for it. Just taught him bash it out of the 2M. No fear at all. Stagger's it back off with it. Same thing with the 2M. EX running like throw. Nice late tech going for it. Jump back to avoid the 5Hs. And the power raise coming out there. Able to get the wall bounce, but not fully aware of it. But able to still bait out the Notoria afterwards. And just cashing out the temp this way. That's round one going over to Kilo. Four plays over. Shadow Battle 2 engage started here. Stan is uh, just keeping up the chip. Clipped him out with the low afterwards. And what an anti air. Catching him out with the empty jump and pushing him back from quarter to quarter. Wall bounce. Full we'll sequence. Not even 20 seconds in. Reset out with the power raise. Gonna have to hold the V. Reset it back with the throw. Early tech. Avoiding any chip that he can here. Let's see. Meter on deck almost from both sides. But not even matter for him as he gets clipped out raw with the EX overdrive. That's a perfect coming over on Kilo's side for game one. Yep. Uh, the man's on a mission now. <laughs> See if he's gonna be able to keep up his feet. Does he see the jump in? No, two H is on that momentum here. Standard frame trap in the Asmodeus. Nice space to keep it safe. See back and forth. Clash on the projectile. Spot dodge on the second one. And once again, two H out on that jump in. Give him a plus up. No, medium rising sword coming for the clutch here. And a light pressure, not falling for the franchise though, but gets clipped out at this time. Same thing with the medium overdrive surge, but Rice Boy not able to take a turn back from it as we go back towards the mid screen. Back and forth, super jump out, but 2H carry confirmed. Wall bounce into the Tempest play. Will we get the full damage? Yes, we will. Not gonna be enough to kill ever. We see the full sequence with the standard safe jump here. Staggers it back off the lights and resets it out with a throw. Round one, once again, going over to Kilo. Yikes. It's completely opposite uh, how their uh, winner's round two match went. Chief's gonna be able to get the pressure. So see, Wolf is coming over with that tick throw here. Stags out with the lights. Can't up in the Goisha. 5 HP to Mass Melee still safe. But allowing Kilo to check him out though. 2 H. Raider Warriors to get a jump in, but still stuck in the corner. EX Gray tried to bait out the DP. And what a whiff punish on that 2 U. Nicely done. EX Notorious. We see high low throw here. And what walk under. Spot dodge out with to avoid it. EX Raider Lane to give out the frame trap. Reset special out the 2 M. Run up. VD power raise here. See, standard frame traps out. 5H in the EX Goisha tries to bait out the DP once more. Oh, for no. And now it's this time Kilo's getting the whip punish on the 2U. Cashing it out with the catastrophe. That's going to do a big rip of damage. Yep. Still not enough to kill. Full animation, but yeah, you're right. The damn, the, the combo scaling is, is definitely going to not make this a lethal encounter. Dude, the sequence is oh my god. Throw. Able to pay it out the safety, but messes up. Tries to go for the big punish, doesn't keep it safe. Wrong up throw here. Late tech over for Kilo. Oh, wow. And once again, <laughs> just overdrive surge from the neutral. Raw Tims from Kilo getting game two. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. We're going right into game three. Put himself on the regular reset here. Clash out for a 2H with punish, but wow. wasted the medium rising sword. Wasn't ready for the walk up. 5H out, no full convert. Same thing on that JH. Just wasn't ready to respond to it though. Soft knockdown, nice down tech, but still pressures back towards the corner. Goisha out. Asmilo is getting in over there. The Regan lays and DP it out. Great response to the jump in. They see here 2U going to be able to interrupt the 5H though. As you see, a bit too far for it, but not ready for the with punch. But ready for that air to air though. Full cash out. Not going to be full damage with that 5H, but still going to be a ton with the Lamega ton out. Yeah. Should have been called the Perdegaton. 
Oh my god. And a stare back at the throw. Didn't quite catch him slipping there. That is Rice Boy taking round one. Mm. About to engage started in here. And nice non counter yet confirm into the Mimi Asmodeus. Caught him out with that mash. No, not quite. But nice defense going over for Keel. Ready to away. And what a walk back and a whiff punish out. Full sequence out. Heavy crooked for the meter. Light Notorious saving out on the cooldown. Not ready for the EX Rising Sword on the air. Reset though. Standard safe jump into the low. Safe cancels out for the reg and lays power race out. Caught him walking back and forth though. See if he's gonna be able to catch out the full sequence. Standard frame trap off of the 5 H and a nice jump out to avoid the Goisha. Pulling him in though, but a bit too late on the 2 L. Link and Fortune stuff. Run up throw. The early tech full sequence wasn't able to get the run up. Fortune stuff and the throw getting snuffed out once again. And what a clutch anti air coming off. Came and locked out. And the crossover on wake up. Gonna be able to beat up. Will he cash out or we do it for the 2 U? No, reset out with the power race. Checking it out though. Tries to go for the run up throw. But nice late tech coming over for Rice Boy. Doubles up for it though but once again late tech choose another defense early tech coming out this time oh, just trying to avoid wow. it out and glitching out around with the ex goisha or going right into it for game yeah. four He's stuffing it there. and this time kilo is going to be winning out on exchange stuffing out the 2h attempt as you see 2l abari off with the 2m nicely done in here try to catch him mashing but not this time still See if he's going to be able to catch him out the third time around as we go back towards the mid screen. Power race facing. Nice catch with the medium crooked. But the defense going over from Kilo. Run up throw. Late tech out. Standard frame. Traps it here. Catch out. Resets it back with the medium. Goisha. Levels up with the light one this time. And just runs right into the Asmodeus over on Kilo's side here. And finally able to catch out the fuzzy match. Full crowd confirmed. And able to push him all the way to the corner. We'll see it to that with all the 5 H hits into the Lamegaton. Yeah, but that, that can't kill. kill. Yeah. A lot of damage going out for it though. I love throw. No, he is rising sword. Deja vu back in towards the mid screen in here. Tick yeah, throw we're... off of the JU. And we're going from corner to corner. One bad hit. Overhead going to catch out the 2L whip. Basilia, no counter to throw off of the 2L. Oh! And then he is overdrive surge. Oh! Keeping it back on a pixel. Fortunate stuff over for Rice Boy. Yeah, he did. Back. Kilo match point here. Reset point, I should say. He's gonna be able to keep it up. Neutral jump on it. Doubles up on the fire down. And a nice catch with that 5H. Yeah, it was. Getting back though. Tries to stack it back with the auto combo. But we see nice check over from Kilo. Reset it back with the medium Regan late. Back and forth. Just whipping out the mediums. Trade out with the fireball and the overdrive surge here. Slowly pressing back towards the corner. Just trying to force his way in here. Nice check over with that 2U. Empty uh... jump and convert right off of the knock counter. Once again, great stuff. Tries to bait out the DP there. And what a whip punch. Same sequence. Huh. Saving out on the Asmodeus though. See back and forth though, one solid hit though, try be able to catch out the run up throw and the two you gonna be able to interrupt it back. Shimmy it back and forth, close heavy, still able to take his turn back, no crash confirm off of it though. Ooh. Bit too far to get the 5M, but still keeping it safe with the light overdrive surge in here. EX Asmodeus burned as well, still has the Goisha, jump back here, what a medium on that 5, 5 H. Let's see back and forth, EX Goisha burn, not able to catch it out. Early tech avoid oh! out oh! Now what a 5 H, that might be, be skill. Yeah, that'll be it. The, the clutch of four, Damn. and that's gonna be a reset. Kilo just needed that one Tempest Blade confirm. That's all he ever needed. All right. That's, that's a reset. Woo! Yo, we, we, got a, we got an East Coast, West Coast thing going on now. <laughs> or I guess Midwest, uh, West Coast thing going on now. Choose your sides of the mountains, friends. <laughs> All right, back into it off of the reset. Light over to guys, search, slide it over. Run up to disrespect the next frames. They see Regan, they spot dodge out. Have a nice jump in punish, keeping it simple with the 2L afterwards. Standard safe jump setup as we see trying to stagger back with the lights. Aquila ready with the Ibarra A2M. But jump in once again. Not able to get the 5H fortunate stuff though, but able to catch him out though. But we'll see if that punish out from the spot dodge. Go see the Notori Bird. Not the EX though here. Able to catch him out with the low, but no convert off of it. Fortunate stuff though. And he's gonna be able to get him out of it with the 2M. 2U knockdown, what a JU setup though, but what a 2U come up for, clipping him up just right for the tip, EX boot, and That's the That's gonna be too. something. That's gonna be big damage, but not gonna be enough to kill, nah. once again. What? Oh. We'll see if that it's was gonna be on close. It. But he should still be living on a sliver. <laughs> wow, yeah, actually that was, uh, that was less than I, than oh, I foresaw, no, but yeah. Oh no, God, I'm trying to tech though with the overhead. Sure did. All right, Kilo taking round one of the reset. 
forth here. First strike coming over with that medium ring life to beat it out. The water with punch with that 2U. Stairs are back, tries to bait out the Notoria, but once again, Rescore made it patient. Super jump out to avoid the EX overdrive search for the medium ring life. Able to interrupt out the 5H. Goisha finally able to catch up out. Full sequence out. Great confirmation. Big damage off with it. And able to bait out the DP. Full sequence out. He should have super available with that heavy crooked. And cashing out to Living at the. No EX Notoria saving out for that single hit though. High low throw into. Do it? No, just a run up off of the reset. Mm -hmm. Kilo cost affecting a bit too much. We might have ourselves a little back and forth here in the reset. Steph, we'll see who's going to be able to take it out to a game of one. We'll see first strike that tries to reset it back. A nice walk back over for Ice Boy. Not able to get a big punish for foot, but able to avoid the corner carry from that confirmation. Empty jump out, fakes it out with a JH in here. But still advantage out though, a bit too far to get the EX overdrive surge in here. Catching out with two instances of the 2M and the 2U. Standard frame trap, run up throw, late tech cover for Rice Boy. Nice check, able to avoid out on that overhead hit. To see that, able to finally catch out the fuzzy mash on that 2M too. See, 2M, keep it up plus though. Counter confirmed, safe jump at the side switch though. Gust size going for it, but Kilo able to clip back with it first hit here. Fair out for it though. Nice block for it. That's what you guys cover for it. Full sequence out for it. Close heavy into the end of Genesis. No, catching out. Full sequence off with the crooked. And finally into Ooh, it. Got it. That's going to be it for game one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and on B as we go into game two, just right into it. Medium Regan latest start. Go we share. Look at the first track. It's still never going on that. Oh, what a 2 H of the JU pushing up all the way towards the corner. Nice response over on that meaty power raise attempt though. EX as Modi is further though. Not gonna have a full oh. confirm. And we see Kilo not able to get the 2 H. That's like this again. Standard step forward though as we go back towards the mid screen. Advantage still over towards Kilo. Not anymore though. Full sequence out. Crouch confirm into the medium as Modi is here. Duel tries to bait it out, but one of them already delayed 2M back towards the mid screen here. I see impression him all the way back towards the corner with all these staggers on him. Just 2M it out. Good Tick throw grab. off of the close medium. Safe jump out with the JU into the lows here. And we see not ducking out with the JU this time. Nice response to go over at Kilo to go there and keep up with the advantage. Oh. Jumping over the punch. And then once again, same situation. And this time we're right into the end of Genesis. No animation wow. needed. Start keeping up the pressure here. Light Reg and Lave. Light Goish. A clutch down the fireballs here. No whiff punish on the JU. Unfortunate stuff for Kilo. But you see, Rice Boy gonna get clipped out. Attempting to do the 5H here. 2M. Giving it out. The stairs are back. Nice blocks over on the EX Reg and Lave. Same thing on the throw. But able to fade it out though. Full sequence out. Great combo awareness. Reset off the other combo. Fakes out the meaty. Goes for the, the throw in here. Tries to get out once again. Nice check over for it. Wasn't ready to punish out the whiff on the JU here. And same thing in that sequence. Wasn't ready to see the 5U as well. Not able to get on Too much for it though. EX Overdrive still plus from that sequence. 5 m able to cut out the move. But bad situation over for Rice Boy though. Close to chip. Might be just one more. Ooh. And what an air to air. Just the rising JM. No funny shenanigans with that JU. Nope. We got nope. that was that was clean even Steven. I see it the whiff out though. Medium overdrive surge. Rice Boy respecting it though. See back towards it though. Not able to catch him out. No cross up button there with the JH. And Rice is gonna be putting him right into the corner with it. Baiting out the 2U once again. Good way shit's go over for a EX Tutorial. A high low throw. But we see the Visago out though. Not able to punish out the spot dodge. We see catching him out with the tick throws on block. And another tick throw out this time with the Visago. Meter on deck for him, but I don't even be needed. As the reset it back with the medium Goisha. EX Goisha has a what a crossover Whoa. on that heavy crooked. But that tick overhead going to be beating out the 2U oh, mash. Finally, the last for Rice Boy, one. just, yeah, in a, in a fantastic spot right now. He's going to be able to keep it out, though. Call out on the Goish with the medium rising sword. Like regulate that full counter confirm. Saving out on the EX Overdrive Surge. We see Light and Tori and be able to catch him out, though. A bit too late on the 2H, but Rice Boy not able to get the full confirmation. What a crossover into the throw here, but Kilo able to really take it out, but still stuck in the corner. Situation with the heavy crooked. But we see medium rising sword not trying to hold any of that pressure. They see it, though. Nice, empty jump in here, but good anti air by Rice Boy regardless. Keep him locked down in the corner. Four C with that 5 8. Heavy crooked off of the Goish. They see it saving on Lemmigates on this time. Full we'll Seagates out. Back and forth. Tries to bait it out though. Nice late tech over for Kilo, but still dive straight. Early tech to avoid it out. And not able to get clapped out by it. Slot dodge punished out by the throw. Alright, this is tournament point here for Telastra. ESP is going to be able to get up going though. Oh, what a 2 well going to be coming out though. And a nice counter to confirm over into the 2U. And caught him ducking out though. Fully cash in now. Medium American Lake to save it out though. For the oh. power race. Oh, what a jump in to beat out the throw. 
back towards the mid screen here. You can see it though. Meteor Rising Sword calling out the jump in and able to bait out the full sequence. Elo still living. Yeah, back in for Goisha yeah, projectiles not quite clashing. Then he and able to interrupt the meter, eat him rig and leave in here. Touch him out the low, no full convert off of that though, and able to find a clip him out, but it'd be too far to get the 5H for just the fourth though. What a check out with the 2L, keeping it plus with the heavy crooked. Oh, to nice you here, clash, clash out though. And what a spot dodge here, keeping it with the autopilot still to beat out the Asmodeus autopilot. I see back and forth, Jay's jumping, not even to find a shot the power raise with. I see back and forth, kept him out with a 2M low. Same thing with the 5H2 meter on deck for Ice Boy as well. One solid hit. But no, the two you cover for it. Safe jump side swap here. Shimmy out, but we see Rice Boy not ducking back for it. Very patient. Hit our air in favor of Kilo. Gets caught out with the tick. Throw power raise set up here. Picks it out. And able to catch him uh, out uh, with the delay. Uh, Buns. Uh. We'll see it out. Into the Tempest Blade. I don't we'll think so, though. Yeah. Nah. Still living on his server. What's the secret down? JH into the tick over here. Nice response to that. Patience coming up. But what an empty jump on that JU into the throw here. Two M here. One hit. Gotta be careful. Still has there the Goisha. But the medium Ooh. overdrive surge. No chip out. Just hitting him as he's trying to run up. Yep. That's what the uh, that's what the Tims are good for. <laughs> nice shade tower. So he's able to keep it up for game four. Trading out on the projectiles. Okay, forward feeder. Call it out though, but nice response to her. Medium crooked to beat it out though. Spot dodge on it, but runs right into the power raise here. Tearing it out though. Caught him trying to move. Full sequence out. And we see reset it back. Meaty power raise here. Tries to do the delay button to beat it out. Editoria, but we see Rice Boy remaining patient though. Editor in favor of Rice Boy is gonna be able to clip him out trying to rip on the ground. See, what a tick throw on that 2 win. Basago burn. Let's see if it tries to double up or 2U off of it once again. Not ready to bait it out this time. 5H. We'll see if it's out though. We missed out on the close line auto combo. Unfortunate stuff though. Doesn't get clipped out with the lights here. No pro conversion. Information off of that though. EX overdrive surge. Not able to catch him out though. Rice Boy not ready to respond to these. But we see. So you're gonna get him out though. But once again. Eating out the button with the air stall. No animation with the Anagenesis. And once again, Rice Boy on turning point. point. Yeah. Scary times for Kilo fans. Like, uh, laying out the oh, what a crouch confirmed. Still able to get the big damage out with the EX Goisha too. Save it on the Asmodee. Once again, not ready to block out the low on for it though. Spot dodge getting punished out with a jump and standard save jump. Into the reset off of the power raise cancel. Nice check over by Rice Boy if it gets clipped out. By the two M confirmed. And able to get big damage now with the close heavy. Off of it though. There jump in. JH into the lows. Two U out. But not. He gets he's safe. Good. No push over for Rice Boy. Good B and B from that position. He'll take it. Oh! And what a wall there was wall bounce, it. Oh, but still, able to cut out the VD 2L on the wake up. Still tournament point, but Kilo could make this an even fight if he takes this round. Back and forth, let's it rock once again, deja vu. Rice Boy ready to block and punish it as well, towards the mid screen here. Pressure's out the wood with punish out with that 2M here. But we see, disrespecting his pressure out there. Same thing on Kilo's side. 5H, no convert out for it though. 5H coming for the cluster, once again missing out on the combo. Tries to get him with the stair pressure, but nice check going over for it though. Able to catch him out, resets off of the 2L's hit. We see Rice Boy once again having enough of that offensive pressure. The spot dodge to avoid it out though. Standard frame trap into the light ass Modius. Dash straight over for Kilo. Oh, oh. And able to catch him out second, but a bit too far to get the 5H. Got him with the run up there, but wasn't able to convert off of it. There's a safe jump. This time at the same side. Nice block out on the overhead. Not dug oh, out for it. And able to catch out yep. the EX regulate the time. Right That's over good. that fireball. Yeah, it's simple. That's going to be Rice Boy taking over yep. Kilo. 3 to 1 on the reset. That certainly is. Wow, that was a hell of a grand finals. And our uh, our new face, uh, Telastra slash Rice Boy, getting it, taking uh, yeah, lost the initial grand final match, took it back on the reset, and uh, yeah, we walking away with a, a good chunk of this change here in the in the match arena. Uh, by the way, folks, if you uh, have not contributed to the Matcharino just yet, you can use our command, Matcharino here. Uh, follow that, add yeah, follow that link. Use the code there. That'll donate a quick fifty cents into the prize pool um, for absolutely nothing out of out of your pocket. Uh, last last chance, really, uh, before we close this thing out for the night. Um, but yeah. Uh, Let's plug in these numbers and see where we stand at the end of all this. Oh, I never did. 
I never finished out Shu and, uh, Shu and Kilo. My bad. I got very absorbed in, the, in, the, in what was going on tonight. All right. Yeah, Spiral, what'd you think of all that? It is pretty sick, man. It's super cool to see the pot so high as well, even without your, your intervention. <laughs> yeah, I, and I've still, get, yeah, I've still got my own contribution to add to it, but uh, that'll be like just before the payout happens. But yeah, this is already crazy good. And uh, thank you to everybody who's been donating tonight. All right, let's uh, go ahead and end this tournament, and we will get our final results. And yeah, a lot of follows tonight, too, and I'm ex uh, very appreciative of that. Um, happy to see folks still supporting Grand Blue now that uh, Guilty Gear is out. Um, Guilty Gear, of course, we're going to be running week weeklies for as well on PlayStation. Uh, we have a monthly uh, Guilty Gear going on as well. But uh, we'll keep uh, holding Grand Blue Fantasy versus PC tournaments until uh, somebody forcibly stops us. <laughs> Or nobody shows up. Whichever happens first. <laughs> but let's go take a look at our final results. Alrighty. Oh, absolutely. Uh, ab no, totally my pleasure hosting uh, hosting these for you guys. Omega Zero, you can't forcibly stop anything. <laughs> I uh, couldn't even forcibly stop me whooping your ass at Smash Brothers. Oh! Uh! <laughs> All right, final results for the night. Uh, T. Lastra, aka Rice Boy, coming through with the 5 1 uh, first place. Kilo, Valiant Effort, Super Strong Grand as per usual. Uh, 5 and 2, though, for second. Shuabu, Grasping third with the 2 2. Uh, kind of going 3 2 for fourth. Uh, twin fifth places for Spiral. Hey, that's you. And Reminiscent. Uh, you were really all over the place with your character selection tonight, man. Like, you were trying... Trying everything. Just <laughs> uh, like at the, at, the, at the buffet table going like, yes, a little bit of Sorez, mm, some Gran. Mm, yes, man. <laughs> and uh, Rowlet and Kitsune Cast pulling up the... Oh, almost pulling up the, the back end. Our other new buddy, Merp. Uh, going 0-2 tonight, but hey, I love seeing people play uh, non-top tier characters, and that Zoe was actually looking pretty fresh, so good on you. Uh, but yeah, that means that uh, our very generous pot will be distributed amongst these uh, three individuals in top three. So well done there, well done there, well done there. Uh, so before we do closing ceremonies and all that, and I uh, slap some cash in here to the match arena, just want to say thank you to everybody who gave us a hand tonight. Uh, oh, and uh, top donators, of course, you get a big shout out. As things reload and reload and reload. So yeah, top of the heap, uh, T. Lastra, a.k.a. Rice Boy, uh, Number one donator with ten dollars and fifty cents. Little creepy sleepy. Uh, I don't know who you are, but thank you for the ten dollars and fifty cents. Three frame Jad, <laughs> nine dollars and sixty cents. Uh, Merp six fifty, uh, and uh, Rowlet five fifty. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Yep, that's pretty much where it, where it, after that. Oh no, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. After that, it just kind of. Lots of uses of the of the the new fifty percent fifty percent fifty cent coupon code tonight. Happy to see it. Thank you so much, everybody. Uh, could not uh, could not ask for a more generous community. Oh, and we just jumped to sixty four sixty nine. What the heck? <laughs> Allowed with the uh, eleven dollars and nineteen cent donation. Thank you. But yeah, that's all going to the to the players. All to the players. Power to the players. Fuck you, GameStop. 
but uh, yeah, and I'll, like I said, still got to toss my stuff in. But before we do that, let's uh, close out the stream. Thank you to everybody who watched, followed, uh, donated. You guys are all heroes. The players still supporting this thing. Thank you so much for showing up here uh, every Thursday night to throw down. You guys are awesome. Thank you to Spiral Hero Z coming in, lending voice to the proceedings. All good stuff. Player and comment. Yeah, player slash commentator slash hero Spiral. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for having me as always yeah, for sure um but yeah let's let's run some uh some channel ads real quick just let you know what's happening in in our neck of the woods and uh we'll let you guys keep going uh go on to the night guilty gear strive we are now doing wednesday night weeklies here on uh, matchstick melee uh our last one had 29 our first one just yesterday had 29 entrants look forward to that vod at the uh, matchstick melee youtube channel coming up really soon uh, those kick off just about like all of our tournaments do, 9 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, uh, depending on the amount of people, we'll either do all winners on stream or sprint to top eight and take it from there. But it is free entry. Uh, we'll take a week off on, well, I don't know. We'll see how the match arena does doing two weeks in a row. It's a little weird with them. They don't like me doing too many at once. But uh, we'll see how that goes on, on the match arena side. But it is going to be free entry for as long as it goes and so far the net code's not letting us down so we're pretty much pretty much keeping it open region in the north american continent uh so yes yeah, please look forward to more of that uh we also host street fighter 5 tournaments uh every monday night again 9 p.m start time that's uh, just whatever 9 p.m happens to be in our crazy little uh daylight savings time neck of the observing day, uh, neck of the woods but uh, free entry, uh, come play. Uh, that one is a bit more region restricted. We're in the Midwest, so we kind of tend to want to see folks that are within a good, like, say, 600 miles of Ohio. Um, just as a general rule of thumb, we've seen strong uh, connections, able to keep up with everybody, but just, you know, CFN's a little extra tricky these days, so the closer the better on that one. And, of course, if you're interested in joining us for these Thursday night tournaments at all, uh, Grand Blue Fantasy Versus, here every Thursday night, 9 p.m., PC format, hosted by us, Matchstick Melee, and often commentated by our good buddy, uh, Spiral Hero Z. Uh, but, yeah, uh, keep an eye out on Twitter for our announcements on that. We also uh, call it on Facebook when we can get the time. There's <laughs> only so much you can do on a lunch hour at work. <laughs> it's pretty much... How we're, how we're getting these made up and, and approved and everything else. Uh, next week will be an off week for Macharino, but uh, back in two weeks for another big, uh, hopefully big prize pool there. Uh, yeah, just come by, check check it out. Play the play that new character you've been working on, you know? Or just uh, go ham on, on the new faces. Offer up some insights in, in, the, in the, the Twitch chat. It's all good. And, of course, we can't forget about Totsugeki. Uh, that is our PC format Guilty Gear Strive tournament coming up this Sunday, uh, June 27th. Not May, like it says in the ad. That's just uh, the, the creator flubbed his months a little bit. But it is this Sunday, the 27th, 1 p.m. Central. That's 2 p.m. Eastern time. Right here on twitch.tv slash Uh And if I'm smart enough, I can even find the most recent tweet about it and tell you who the commentators are going to be. One is Dr. Science. Nope. Nope. Yeah, BLM Dynamite. Dr. Science and BLM Dynamite going to be uh, on the mic for Totsugeki. Uh, should be a nice one. We got a uh, nice big... Uh, uh, Nice big match arena going for that one. And let's see, how many people do we already have signed up? I can't find it because Smash GG is being weird. Okay, but that's fine. Don't worry, it's gonna be lit. Uh, <laughs> anyway, tune in Sunday for that. It's gonna be super great. And with that very awkward uh, moment, it's time for us to say goodbye for the evening. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, please uh, give us a follow. 
Um, if you're feeling really great about what we're doing here, you, we can always take those uh, subscriptions off your hands. And uh, speaking of subscriptions, why not stop by the Matchstick Melee YouTube channel where we post all of these uh, tournaments in full HD, uh, 1080p60. Uh, just drop a subscription over there. It's absolutely free, and you'll know when your big uh, moments came up. All the events get timestamped, so you can find the matches nice and easy. Um, and uh, you never know when you might end up in a featured highlight video. So, yeah. You guys have a wonderful evening. Thank you all again. And we will catch you next week. Peace. Oh, uh, Schizophrenia9527. Thank you for that last minute follow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Everybody have a great night. Enjoy your weekends. Peace!